YFNBC, how did you become a part of that situation? Oh, YFNBC, okay, YFNBC, it's like, it's like a crew of us, right? My big homie, with well, my big brother, his name Milk, he like came up with it, like on some just like, we gonna call it YFN, you know, for that niggas, that's what we gonna be. It's like a crew of them, they all went to school together, right? It's like four, five of them, and they all like older than us by a couple of years, by four, five years, and it's a crew of us. And like all these folks, like our brothers, like, you know, real brothers from the neighborhood, went to school with each other. Mm. You know, we just know each other from the hood, yeah, so. Like, you know, yeah, we, we just clicked, like, yeah, we just family, like, everybody in the crew I knew for double digit years, like 10, 12, 15 type years type shit. Now, are you so, biologically related to anybody in YFNBC? Uh, nah, not really. Well, I'm my big brother, but been my real blood big brother, but like an artist with well, YFN artist or nothing. Nah, we're not, not just. So know. not biologically related yeah. to K or Lucci or? Nah, nah. Okay. Now, um. And my brothers though. No, I get it. Okay. But yeah, no, I'm just curious yeah, if there was saying. like any uh, yeah. uh, relation. Like they real brothers. Yeah, they, yeah, they brothers. Yeah. Now, um, when did you actually meet? Because uh, when people think of YFNBC at this point, uh, the person that they would think of off the rip is probably YFN Lucci. He seems to be the one that uh, commercially popped off first. Yeah. Was that the plan or it just happened like that? Because there's a few rappers on the in the collective. Yeah, I'd say both, really. It was the plan, too, and it just happened, too, because, like, we always rapping. But, like, Lucci, he, you know, he he was doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, they wanted him, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they just wanted Lucci. And it was like, yeah, so I'm going to go first, and then I'm bring you out. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it really was both. Mm. Now, uh, as far as... Um, you and uh, your relationship with uh, Lucci. When did that start? Uh, Lucci, I met Lucci when I was like third grade, man. That elementary young? Elementary school, yeah, third grade. Like, as soon as I moved to the neighborhood, I went to the school, you know, the neighborhood school, and you know how you pick your friends, type shit or whatever, you know, you just see who you might fuck with or something. And me and Shadow been clicking ever since then, third grade, mm. yeah. Do you remember the first time you met him in third grade? Was it the beginning of the school year type of thing? Were you in nah. the same class? Yeah, we were same class, but like I came like in the middle of the school year. Like we just moved over that type of shit. I came like December or something. Like you know, so I'm a new student. His uh, yeah, I remember the first day. Like he got down. Like you know how you got down. I like, had somebody be bad, and they might put the desk in the corner. You know, mm. so, like they ain't even by y'all. Yeah, like like he the one over there in the corner, like but, but he still raising his hand type shit, trying to trying to answer the question. I'm like, yeah, that nigga here might be bad. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Like I that's the first time I remember seeing him. I don't remember how we just, you know, that first conversation or nothing, but I remember that was the first time I seen him. But I know we've been since third grade though. Yeah. Did like he 18, rap? Yeah. Did he rap before you? Did you rap before him? Did y'all rap around the same time? Oh uh, yeah, he rapped before me. Like, yeah, like, see, YFN K, his big brother, he rapped first. You know, he's, like, a little older than that, so by a couple of years. Like, so he rapped first. He'll come home and, you know, play music for us or whatever. You know, we like song, we might not or whatever. But we really liked mostly all along. You know, we were like, boy, yeah, yeah, y'all going crazy. So they'll let him get on the song every now and then. You know what I'm saying? They bring it back, play it. You know, I was fucking with all of it. Really, I ain't going to lie, I was fucking with it. And got damn shit. Yeah, so K rap first, then they let Ray rap. Me, I ain't started rapping until probably like three, four years after they first started. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like on some, because they kept going. And I'm like, okay, so this is what we doing? Okay, well, we're going to rap too. I was about 17 when I probably first started. Like, yeah, I want to rap too. Nice. So he was rapping about 13, 14. Like, like, yeah, we in school, he playing a little song every now and then and shit. Are you surprised at the uh, level of success he's gotten to at this point? Surprise, no. No, I ain't surprised. Cause I worked there the whole time, seen him work for it. I mean, like, like when we go to certain cities and stuff, it be like 
amazing to see like the love and all the people and shit or how the girls scream and shit, but I wanna say surprise. I mean like yeah. I mean I don't know, maybe a little bit. It was like I ain't gonna just say we automatically knew he was gonna be the best, like you know, pop like that, that crazy as soon as he did, but it was expected. I was like, yeah, I wanna yeah, but it's really more amazing. Do you think you're surprised at the amount of time it's gotten to this point? Or are you surprised at the level he is uh, at at this point of success on the ladder? The level in the short amount of time that he's been in there, yeah, that's kind of surprising. Like, damn, that boy did that, you know what I'm saying? Because like, just a couple of years ago, we somewhere, you know, with nothing going on, you know what I'm saying, talking about the Lil Wayne's and all that, Dipset, mm. all that, what, what we came on. Now today we be in the studio with these folks and got songs with these people and shit. Like I just did one the other day, me, him, Jim Jones, shit like, yeah, that big. Yeah, so I say, yeah, that's surprising. Like, yeah, damn, ain't, ain't been number like, what, two, three years? The yeah. YFN chain, do you remember when you got that and how it was given to you? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Your chaining day, as they call it. Yeah, chaining day, yeah, I remember. How'd you get it? Uh, we was at a show, man. What show we was at? Um, well, to tell you the truth, it was just recently too. We posted. To, we had a big show, like you know, we've been doing like a, like it been uh, doing arenas lately, like mm. real big old well, uh, Curry and LeBron them playing shit. So we did well, Fargo Center, Philly, big show with Meat Mill and all them. So tell me why I missed my flight, <laughs> so I got to come later. And I come like just say by the time I get there, he already performed, but he posted gave it to me like in front of the crowd mm. and all that, you know, big, you know, like a you know. But I missed it. So it wasn't at that show. It was the next day at another show. I think we went to like Charlotte or something on that I don't wanna say the wrong city, but I know it was in one of the Carolinas. Okay. But it was like a homecoming. It's more like for a school or something. Like, yeah, I don't remember the school. Yeah, he gave it to me on the stage, shit, like, you know, wife and my Brother, my artist, all that, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, like that. How did you feel when you got it? What's that feeling like of uh, getting the chain? Shit, it feel good, yeah. Great feeling, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never had it, you know what I'm saying? This shit cost money, it's real diamonds. I ain't never had nothing like this. You know so your first diamond chain ever? Yeah, my first diamond chain ever. Yeah, I, did, I just got the watch before this. I just had, yeah, I done had the watch about two months, two, three months. I just got this for like one month watching the rain and shit, you know what I'm saying? Do people treat you different since you got the chain on now? Nah, I mean, not my people. Probably I get more, a little more attention when I'm out because they, oh, you, you know what I'm saying? Like instead of, you know, not saying nothing, they probably will say something now. Like, oh, you were mm-hmm. laughing. Oh, you, just try, you know what I'm saying? Something like that or something. Yeah, that, but like my people, nah. Same regular, old, regular. Old. Shit, regular shit. But maybe other rappers might treat you different. Maybe women might treat you different. I don't know. Uh, women, I say probably a little bit. Yeah, the women, yeah, probably a little bit. They fucking with it. Yeah, the women fucking with it. <laughs> now, when it comes to Lucci and just being around him, what's the biggest advice he's given you at this point or the most important thing you learn being around him? Mm. Could be a variety of things, but what's one thing that sticks to you? Mm. One thing that just stick. I mean, like he tell me a lot of shit. Though. I ain't gonna lie, he give me a something lot of something he said, something lot he's of game. Done. Yeah, something about. Uh, I know one thing he said, like that, that I make sure I always do. Like you gotta talk. You know what I'm saying? Talk more whenever you in a room, with somebody or anybody. You know what I'm saying? People don't know you. Say who you are, type shit. You know what I'm saying? Go introduce yourself. Speak more. We can't be shy, type shit. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? If you will, just shake that shit out, type shit. That's one little thing. I mean, it's a lot more. I don't mind. I probably can't just you know, pop them off my head like that, but he showed me a lot. I mean, yeah, like you gotta fuck with them people, you know what I'm saying? Talk to them, like fans, like, you know what I'm saying? Interact. I mean, what, you save your money. Yeah, yeah. Talking about that, about spending it on stupid little shit and shit, stuff, not, you no know, do's and don'ts and shit. So from networking to finance, he's. Giving you some advice. Yeah, never, yeah, really about everything. Don't just refer to like that. Don't just, yeah. Is it a shy thing? Is it a trust issue? Uh, are you just naturally a quiet person when it comes to uh, bringing that side out out of you? Um, I'd probably say just naturally, yeah. I, I just ain't the 
loud, blah, blah, you know how just, you got your certain kind of niggas, niggas mm -hmm. who, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't just the loud, blah, 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 but I say what I got, you know what I want to say or what need to be said, or you gonna hit me on that track and all that, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just, when it comes to just regular, you know, interacting and all that. I mean, y'all do with my people, but not just with everybody, you know what I'm saying? I ain't just, you know what I mean? I ain't just talking like that, not all the time and shit. I wonder if it's something Sometimes that made you like that. I don't know. Hmm. Nah, I ain't nothing. Well, I don't know. Y'all yeah, don't think it is. Probably that's just how I've been, really. But I've always been the person, like, I don't know what they call it, thing, outgoing, whatever. People just want to yeah. fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if I ain't talking, you know what I'm saying? They want to, girls, nigga, whatever, just want to, you know, like, come get to know me or vibe with me. You know what I'm saying? I've always, always been on that. So, like, if they do, like, you know, I'm going to interact back. I ain't going to just stiff or you know hmm. anybody. But, they say it come to me doing it first, you know what I'm saying? It always, it's little, you know. I done got better with it though, I would've been working on it, so I've been doing this shit lately. I ain't scared to go walk up and talk to nobody. Or like I say, if I see somebody who I really fuck with, like my favorite rapper, or I see Kobe or something, you know, anybody, I'm, mm. you know, I'm, I'm gonna go, probably a couple, you know, a little while ago, I wouldn't even say nothing, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, like I fuck with you, and I ain't gonna just say nothing, I ain't gonna mm. do all that. Nah, I'm gonna go do it, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes by another another guy, it can be perceived, when somebody doesn't say something or somebody's quiet, or, it can be assumed or perceived the wrong way too sometimes. Yeah, you're right, you're right about that too. Some, yeah. Somebody might take it like, oh, he doesn't mess with me. Yeah, he, he doesn't like with me. me. Yeah, but that, it could yeah. be the opposite. Yeah, you're damn right, yeah. See, I ain't, but now, see, if I really do fuck with you like that, I ain't gonna be it quiet and shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're gonna be kicking it and talking and shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm in a room full of, people I don't know or people I don't fuck with like that, then they'll, that's what I'm like, they, you know what I'm saying? If really, if I don't know you, you know, I'm quiet. But I do, I still ain't just the loudest, you know what I'm saying? I ain't that type. I just be kicking it laid back, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm on. 